Let's look at setting up your work environment for working in Perl. Now the first thing you need to get if you're uh, working on a Windows machine is that you need to get Perl and install it on your computer. So one nice thing about Perl is it's free. So you can go to the website perl.org and you're going to look over here either to the download folder and then here's the most current version. So we can go to the current version and download now. So these are different varieties of the Perl downloads and we're going to choose, since we're working off of Windows, the Windows, and we're going to choose Active State Perl. And that takes us to the Active State page, and down here you can see we have, whether you want it for 32 or 64-bit, I have a 32-bit machine, so I'm going to download Active Perl 5.14.2. And it pops up with my, you know, confirmation to save the file. So I'm going to click and it's going to save it into my downloads folder. By the way, the Perl.org and the Active State are good websites if you're looking for documentation and information about Perl. It has a very active community of um, users and forums and being able to help people out with questions. So my downloads complete so I'm going to close the downloads window and I'm going to go to my downloads folder and here is my Perl file. I'm going to double click to open and it's asked me to verify it is a, a valid source so you can click OK for the security question. It's going to ins prepare to install and we're going to click Next. We have to accept the terms of the license agreement. We can keep all of the default options and choose Next. And you do want to have it add Perl to the path environment variable. It'll make it easier for your app, your programs to find Perl. And to create a Perl file extension association, meaning when you have files that end in .pl, they'll be associated as Perl files. So we'll click Next and then Install. So it may take a few minutes, so I'm going to pause this while this goes through. Well, they weren't lying. That did take a while. So finally, it is copied all the files, and I'm not going to look at the release notes. I'm just going to click Finish. So now Perl has been installed on my computer and it doesn't install an icon over here in your um, list of your applications. If I go to my hard drive on my computer, you can see it made a folder called Perl and if I open that up, this contains all of my Perl program files. And in case you're wondering, the Perl executable is in the, the bin folder or binary folder. And if I scroll down in that list to Perl, there's a Perl.exe and a Perl 5.1.4 exe. So these are the executables that will actually run Perl. But we're going to look at another way of using, we can use Notepad and Perl to run your programs. And there's also um, some other options that make it a little easier to work with and debug your applications.